Hello and welcome to Animals Voice Podcast. I am your producer and guest host for the day, Emily Cook, and I have the pleasure to be joined by our host, Kevin McKenzie, as a guest today. Thank you. Yeah, how are you doing? This is this is awesome. It's neat to be on this side of the table and uh and, and in this role. And I get to sit back and you have to do all the hard work and I heavy do. lifting today. So Yes, I do. I can I relax do. a little bit. Lucky guy. <laughs> so the reason why we have our host as a guest is because you are right now working on this big capital campaign and it's for a dog rehabilitation center. So we're really excited about that and we want to talk to you about that today. I've been looking so forward to talking about this project with our listeners and with the general public, because obviously we knew this was coming for, for a little while now. But as with most capital campaigns, you don't really go out and talk about it publicly uh, until you've already raised some amount of, of money and uh, gotten your ducks in a row. Right. So it's been an exciting build to this point. And yes, we've finally gone public so we can talk to people about uh, this, this amazing project. Very exciting. And where did the concept for this dog rehabilitation center originally come from? You know... It, there's a need, and I think our, you know the members of senior management within the Ontario SPCA had an awareness that this need needed to be filled, um, and the opportunity came along. Uh, our, our CEO Kate, she doesn't like when we uh, when we give her kudos, but kudos, you're you know you're great, Kate. So um, she was approached, and our senior management team were approached by the Peterborough Humane Society, and they identified that they were going to be doing a campaign to rebuild their shelter. Now, they're an affiliate. We don't own or operate the Peterborough Humane Society, but as with uh, our affiliates, we will advise them. If they turn to us for, for you know, input on projects or uh, any, anything at all, we'll usually help them out. So right. when they turn to us to identify that they wanted to do a campaign and what could we tell them about capital campaigns, um, you know, Kate said, yeah, we'll, we'll talk to you about that. Uh, we also want you to think bigger. Because uh, part of this project, we think it would be pretty special if we were able to get into one third of that building that you build and allow us to operate Canada's first provincial dog rehabilitation center. So you said Peterborough is where this center is going to be located. Why yeah. Peterborough? Well, I mentioned to you that the Peterborough Humane Society had come to us a couple of years ago to identify they wanted to rebuild their shelter. Right. Uh, other than that opportunity presenting itself to us, uh, Peterborough is perfect. This is going to be a provincial dog rehab center, meaning it's servicing all of Ontario. So mm. having it in central Ontario, right in the middle of the province makes a lot of sense. They have a municipal airport and uh, that airport has been so uh, helpful and excited about this project. They're allowing us to fly dogs in as part of our Northern Dog Transfer yeah. Program. Uh, so they're on board. And the 407 highway will be extended to Peterborough uh, over the next, uh, you know, 12 months or so. That makes it really easy to get to and from. Oh, okay. So as we're sending mm. dogs from shelters across Ontario uh, to that, to that, you know, last haven and place they can get help at, uh, it's it's easy to get to. So that's why Peterborough. It's a, it's a great community, very pet friendly and animal friendly, mm -hmm. and the the local council and and um, you know city group are so excited and supportive about the Peterborough Humane Society's campaign and that the Ontario SPCA is going to be under the same roof operating this uh, innovative center. Right. Well, that's great. What kind of dogs will this program be servicing? It's, it's going to help dogs from all over the province. That's the first thing that's really important for people to understand is that it's uh, not dogs from one community. People hear that it's going to be in Peterborough and they often say to me, oh, so you're really going to be helping dogs in Peterborough. And right. yes, Peterborough and everywhere else in Ontario. Um, the, the situation with these dogs is they've been terribly abused, terribly neglected, uh, or sometimes it's northern dogs. You and I were recently involved in a, in a pretty exciting uh, event where we flew in dogs mm -hmm. from northern Ontario. And uh, these dogs are unique and that oftentimes they've been indoors, uh, I mean outdoors their whole lives, and, and they don't know what carpet feels like under their paws. They've never right. navigated a staircase, uh, a couch or a lamp are threats to them. So you need, you need to help them uh, acclimate to becoming an indoor or domestic dog. Right. And for those dogs right now, what what is out there for them? Like, how are they being treated in our animal centers currently? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. We have been 
rehabbing dogs for over 140 years. You know, the Ontario SPCA is not new to rehabilitating dogs. Right. We've been doing it uh, without a formal program or place to do it from. So the okay. rela- the relationships that we have forged in, for example, Newmarket, Ontario, with other vets, volunteers, different uh, rescue organizations, that will differ from what we have in place in Sudbury or in Cornwall or in Midland. And that's not really a sustainable model. You know, when we're doing it kind of patchwork and, and just based on local relationships and where we have strengths or, or uh, training in place. Uh, and that's what we're trying to address. We want to have a place and a, a formal place and program to, to give these dogs a second chance at life. Absolutely. And you mentioned things like carpet and stairs. And will there also be services for dogs that are even higher needs than that, that come from really high risk situations? Yeah, there's I mean, there's. There are some examples out there uh, similar to what we're trying to accomplish. We have a a friendly relationship with the ASPCA, and uh, I got to spend some time with uh, members from the ASPCA earlier this year, and they were thrilled that we're doing this because they actually built a a dog rehabilitation center in Madison, New Jersey. That's great. Yeah, back in 2013. So uh, they haven't built exactly what we want to accomplish, but Mm. it is certainly a breadcrumb trail for us to look at the successes that they have had. Mm -hmm. Um, And the dogs that end up uh, being helped at this rehabilitation center, I I mentioned earlier, you know, victims of abuse and neglect. Yeah. There's no cookie cutter plan for these dogs. Right. It's not abused dog or northern dog or, you know, it, it's really an individualized plan that each of these dogs are going to get when they come in the door. Mm. Uh, and, and that plan will vary based on the severity of the condition of that dog, be it mental or physical condition, uh, and, and the help that we can lend to it. That's great. Well, we're going to take a quick commercial break. So we've been talking about this dog rehabilitation center and the great services it can offer. And when we come back, we're going to talk about how you can get involved and um, more information on that. So we will be right back. We are back with Animals Voice podcast and interviewing Kevin McKenzie, who's regularly in the hosting position. So no pressure. I know. I, I think I'm doing decently well. You're doing awesome. Oh, uh, thank and you so much. And to the much. listeners, we're sorry you actually have more of me to listen to at this point. <laughs> no, I'm sure they don't mind. <laughs> so yeah, we've been talking about the Dog Rehabilitation Center. Very exciting stuff. So wanted to ask, how much money are we actually hoping to raise to help jumpstart this program. You know what? The Ontario SPCA is uh, contributing $2 million. Wow. That $2 million gets us uh, the the space in this building. It's the Peterborough Humane Society. They are running their own campaign at the same time as we are running our campaign to build Canada's first provincial dog rehab center. Okay. So uh, they have their own fundraising goals and responsibilities as part and parcel of this campaign. The $2 million that we are raising is going to be um, obviously getting uh, shovels in the ground and contributing Mm -hmm. to the build of this place. It's also going to be uh, giving us a 20-year prepaid lease um, on the space. So that is a commitment that we make to the Peterborough Humane Society, to the community of of Peterborough, and to the province of Ontario saying that we are in this with both feet, we're not going anywhere, and we're going to build a, a a fantastic program. That's great. And I mean, I can definitely see the passion coming from how you're talking about this. What is it that personally makes you excited about this project? Uh, It's it's innovation. It's something we don't have in Ontario yet and and, or in Canada, for that matter, in terms of what we're trying to accomplish. And being a part of that is exciting. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mentioned earlier that I've seen examples in other countries of this and uh, the videos I've seen uh, when I spent the time with, with the folks from the ASPCA and right. they showed me uh, what can be accomplished from beginning to end mm. with dogs that other organizations or animal welfare shelters have given up on and seeing those dogs get a second chance at life and know that that's what we're going to introduce to Ontario and help dogs from across the province. Uh, that's, you know, it doesn't feel like work. I get on the phone or I go visit people and talk to them about the project as a dog lover. Uh, as a dog owner, as, mm. as an animal lover, this is an important project and it's one that's easy for me to talk about. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. No, it's very exciting stuff. We're all 
very excited about it. And how can people keep up to date on updates as to where we're at with the fundraising or how they can help? More details on that? It's it's going to be easier to get information on now, obviously, that we're out there and it, we're wanting to be out there and keep mm-hmm. it in the public eye. So I think the best place for people to go is probably a website we have, which is uh, ospcadogrehab.com. Great. Uh, you know, our main website, OntarioSPCA.ca, uh, will certainly have information. And you might have to hunt for it a little bit because we have so many important programs and, and, uh, and uh, you know, pieces of information we're always sharing there. So go right. to OSPCADogRehab.com. There's a great video there right now that outlines the importance of this. We were lucky enough to have Kevin Frankish from uh, Breakfast TV Toronto Very step cool. up, offer to host a video for us to help us get word out. And we ask people to do that. Get the word out. Share that website on your social media, on your Facebook, your Twitter. We really want to get word out about this because everyone we talk to about it when we explain the importance of this uh, and what we hope to accomplish there they've already had the Kool-Aid they're sold so the more people to hear about it the the faster we're going to get dollars in the door the faster we're going to get shovels in the ground and the faster we start helping dogs perfect that's what we want yeah definitely well that's great thank you for sharing with us today thank you for inviting me on your podcast oh you are so (laughs) welcome If you're lucky, we might have you on again. I appreciate that. And thank you to our listeners for tuning in to Animal's Voice podcast. We really appreciate your support, sharing the podcast, liking it. If you're watching this on YouTube, definitely hit that subscribe button so that you can check in when we have another podcast available to view. Uh, And we hope that you share this podcast. And that's all today. How about if we give out my Twitter handle. That would be great. Because we're always shills wanting to get that out there. Yes. So feel free to follow me at OSPCA Kevin. What about you, Emily? Do you have uh, social media following at all? I... I, I personally do not, <laughs> but you can follow me at Ontario SPCA because I definitely run that channel. So definitely follow that. Perfect. Um, and if you have show ideas, you can email them to Kevin at kmckenzie at ospca.on.ca. And uh, we can also campaign to have a new host because, frankly, I think oh. Emily did a great job. She should be taking over the podcast. All you know right. Saying? All right. <laughs> so thank you very much. And we'll see you again next time. This podcast is just the tip of the iceberg. In the following months, we're going to have blogs and more podcasts on the Dog Rehabilitation Center. So definitely stay tuned to learn all about this amazing initiative. We'll see you again next time.